Security was remaining heavy Tuesday outside the gates of the Beijing apartment that Nobel Peace Prize winner Liu Xiaobo shares with his wife, Liu Xia. He's in prison in the second year of an 11-year term he received for inciting subversion. She's under virtual house arrest with a no interviews sign posted at the gates of the compound where she lives. But the Associated Press was able to reach her by phone. I'm not allowed to leave my house, not allowed to meet the press or friends. If I have to do any daily chores like visiting my mother or buying groceries, I have to go in their car. No one is allowed to visit me at my home. Liu said she was able to have a brief tearful visit with her husband in prison after getting word of his Nobel win. When they brought me to the room, Xiaobo was already there. We hugged fearlessly. His first sentence was, I've already been informed by the prison the previous night of the Nobel Peace Prize. Then he said that the Peace Prize should belong to all the fallen souls of the 4th of June, 1989. The comment about 1989 referred to those killed when pro-democracy demonstrations were suppressed in Tiananmen Square that year. Liu Xia said she'd learned from her husband's brother the food he's being given in prison is better this week, though there was no immediate indication any other improvements had been made to his conditions. Liu Xia also said she'd like to be able to travel to Norway in December to pick up her husband's prize, even if she can only move about now under police escort. When asked if that would be possible, Foreign Ministry spokesman Ma Zhao Xu would only say that was up to judicial authorities. But he vented fresh outrage over the Peace Prize Award in general. To award this Nobel Prize to a criminal who is serving time in prison, this by itself shows a lack of respect of a Chinese legal system. As a criminal, what he should do or not do should be decided by the judicial authorities. Ma said other countries pressing for political change in China are making a mistake. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.